Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk real quick about the Amber Rose and WAC 100 situation. Child, like I've always said, Clubhouse is a hot fucking mess. That's why I don't use that app at all. But I do see all the Clubhouse drama here on YouTube. So if you guys don't know, Amber Rose has been on Clubhouse for a while. I remember a while back it went viral that she got kicked out of the atheist chat room on Clubhouse because she is now a proud atheist. I don't know Tom to bully anybody. Oh, yeah, yeah Tom's, Tom's never bullied anybody. You weren't there. Amber, I have a thought no, no, experience for you. Definitely. Amber, I have a thought well, experience for you. Let me explain you. what's going on. I don't you like talking cutie. I don't like yeah, I think, cutie. I think, I think, I think that like okay, Tom would be one of your whores, Amber. I'm talking you, to Toxic. I, I, don't, I, think, I don't think that like Tom has a chance with you because you, you have a big house and Tom has like a you, – he doesn't even have his own She's house. She's gone. just got rid of her. Come on, guys. Get on the same page. She's gone. And so, anyways, it seems like she was saying some things about WAC 100, and WAC 100 was not here for it. And so, WAC basically went in on her, but on top of that, he also took to social media, and he added her baby daddy, and he basically said this. He says, at Wiz Khalifa, at AE for president, warning, at Amber Rose just entered the world of clubhouse conflict. I ain't holding no punches. Blame her for the scrutiny to come. We know, I know it all. Now, he basically called A.E. a weird-ass baby daddy, said that, you know, he left Amber Rose for a 70-year-old. He kept saying Madonna, but I'm sure he meant Cher, honey, okay? I know they're white women, but they're not the same white women, okay? Cher is Cher, Madonna is Madonna. But um, anyhow, what I also found interesting is that he said that Wiz likes what Amber likes. Now, you know, I know Amber goes both ways, but her relationships tend to be with men, okay? I've never seen her in a full-on, you know, lesbian relationship where she was claiming somebody's her girlfriend. But she has been in several high-profile relationships with men. So basically, it seems like WAC 100 is insinuating that Wiz Khalifa is also bi. I mean, we know he likes cat, but it looks like he also likes eggplant as well. But again, you know what I'm saying? That's his business. But Wack don't put that out there. And then he proceeded to say that Amber Rose gave Kanye West some sucky sucky not even nine months ago. So it looks like Kanye and Amber been creeping and shit. But that was nine months ago. Kanye West is now a devout husband. So... <laughs> So we're not going to drag him too much. He is married now. But Wack is a messy, messy, chatty patty, okay? I mean, the fact that he knows all this dirt and he holds on to all this dirt from people, does he even manage rappers anymore? Or is his full-time job now on Clubhouse? Inquiring minds want to know. Because this man spends more time on Clubhouse than he does actually managing the game and Blueface and, you know, his artist. But anyhow, let me go ahead and play the audio for you guys. Y'all go ahead and check this back and forth, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. We're not going to do that over Clubhouse. If you wanted to have a conversation with me, you could have had a conversation with me. You can abuse them bitches over here. You can abuse them bitches over here. You can't even know where the fuck I live at. You acting like three kids are wrong. Whack, I don't think that they... It don't matter. That's between me and another woman. That's that. between me and another woman. Weird. Why the fuck you yelling? It's between me and another woman, bro. I, bitch, I know you. That's crazy, bitch. You got me fucked up, whack. You got me real now, fucked up, bro. Got you fucked up yet? Yeah, you now, got me fucked up for real. I okay. Over I fucking club. Fifty-year-old grown record. man I... is arguing with me over a clubhouse, bro. Can we we came and make this shit nah, up? Stop. Stevie, nigga, keep mute me, Stevie. I'm gonna look at you funny. Oh. No, mute in the yeah, house. Don't do that. Okay. I don't, wow. Listen, I don't think that this, this shit is even. even this shit. Him. I did not Who even moved him? Who moved behind this nigga? That she knows it's not wrong, you making it about him, right? It's the fact you came on stage and, I don't and you literally start yelling at me and cursing so why at me. You bro. Ain't we could have had a conversation. Why you ain't You're yelling don't at me over a clubhouse room. You could have 
conversation earlier. This is retarded. The conversation earlier. Did I not? Did you Did what? I not? Respectfully. I had the respectful conversation earlier. I'm <laughs> respecting you. I'm respecting you because I stopped because of you to tell me. Right, I understand day. that. But you at the end of the day, nigga. if I'm having a conversation with Mo and you come people. in and start screaming and threatening me, it's wild it, hey, over I don't make like, threats, that's crazy. They promises. Okay. I don't make you threats. You talking about I, you know where I okay. live? Like, that's weirdo shit. You're nigga. a grown ass man. I do. Who the fuck does that? I think. I think. I think. I know all kind of shit. I can get oh, on this motherfucker. We doing look, that bet. We doing that bet. No, you got that. It. No, you got Amber. that. Wack. They're no, not going to appreciate it. All the rest of you. <laughs> you can't play with me. I know where you at. Where you sleep. I know about your weird ass baby daddy. All that. I know about the left you from a dot for the for the old. The last thing for seventy some years old. Out of here, Madonna. He talking about the AE. <laughs> AE, yeah, oh my mom. Yeah, that's oh Tiger mama. Peaks. Not material, girl. Well, I, hey, I have this one question, and, and, and I'm gonna just, I just need to know when hey. these mother gonna learn. Hey, and I'm gonna violate that. Why she do that room? <laughs> Magneto, you knew it was out of line. Came in the first time. You supposed to holler at that. Man, that that went bizarre. I don't give a fuck, Dito. Y'all know I don't give a. I ain't turning nothing down from nobody. I didn't deal with this little. You took Kanye uh, nine months ago. Uh, All of them can deal with it. See now, she ain't ready for this. Because when that weird name get to hitting and the other nigga name get to hitting all this shit, y'all pretty sure they have told her. Get the fuck off a of clubhouse. Man, Amber, Amber, Amber blew her own room last night and logged off. Bitch she better log off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She better log the fuck she off. No, but we're gonna make that bitch content every fuck time we, we gonna, catch it. Wiz, we gonna make Wiz content. We needed all somebody else to make we gonna make all of them content. Fuck them. All of them. wanna pop this shit and Brock. I'm telling this to Brock yeah, to my brother. You and better fuck again, yeah. Once again, Amber, your little man ish got all this going on. So instead of you checking him, like if I ask Wack to chill out, why is you running around here doing this dumb shit? Right? This your man. He must be fucking this little broke nigga. Gotta be. Well, no, Wack, I wasn't quite. Yeah, bitch, you questioning Moko talking about why she tell me. And you ain't said nothing to this weird ass nigga. Matter of fact, who in here? Uh, who got the audio? This guy ain't gonna do nothing but piss y'all off. <clears throat> I ain't never heard no shit like this. This weird ass nigga. I, I'm not quite. And Again. Amber, you got to remember, ain't nobody in status fucking with that bitch no more unless they slide through their two in the morning. That ain't what that is. The bitch went from Kanye to Wiz Khalifa to A.E., the nigga be right nigga from the Bay, right now to a troll on Clubhouse. The A.E. nigga left the bitch for a 72 for Madonna and Cher. What up? Start fucking the 70-year-old bitch. Wouldn't even bring the money back. That's wild. If you want to fuck a 70-year-old bitch on me, you better run me my bags. Hello? Be out real here. Shit. Damn, just leave me for real. For some old, old cool. I think she was fucking with 21 Savage, too, with the slut walker. 21 Savage in there, too, and he had him holding a sign talking about, I'm a slut. Slut. I'm a slut sign. A little bitch-ass 21 fucking, yeah, weirdo. Little well, faggot-ass motherfucker. is, don't nobody stay with the bitch. You know why she got a polluted pussy? Damn, I must have missed some shit. The nigga left her for a bitch 72. I mean, God. Yeah. You got, she motherfucking whiz went gay after she fucked her. No, she found out they like the same thing. That's why she <laughs> left. Her. Oh, man. <laughs> Wait, is gay? Come on. We're going to wake this shit up. We go, like we go wake this Hey, Wax, Wax, you need to go viral this week yeah. this weekend anyway. We need to get you viral again this if weekend. I ain't going to lie. If they would have got that. <laughs> All right, so you guys just heard that clip. Um, I definitely wasn't feeling it. I'm just tired of like these grown men. And I'm not a big Amber Rose fan. Y'all know that. But at the end of the day, I'm really tired of all of these grown men just like constantly coming for women. Like it's starting to get old now. You know, just the constant disrespect, talking over her, calling her all types of bitches and everything else. And it's very funny that, you know, he's mad because supposedly she was in his business or something like that. 
But WAC 100 is always in everybody's business. Like, that's the thing I never understood. I've said this time and time again. You cannot have an opinion on everything under the sun. You cannot provide commentary on everything under the sun. But the second somebody says something about you, you want to get upset and get in your feelings. That is part of the game. Especially when you're a highly opinionated person, like, you know, such as myself, um, you can't give a fuck what other people say about you because, again, you're highly opinionated yourself. So I never understand that. Like, he's always in people's business. He's literally a gossiper at this point. He's not even a manager from what I'm seeing. He literally sits up all day on Clubhouse and gossips about other men's businesses and, you know, calls people out for being a snitch and, you know, tells all these old back in the day stories. So it's funny that he can talk about everybody else. You know, Wiz Khalifa had nothing to do with this back and forth, but now he's basically out at Wiz Khalifa. Kanye had nothing to do with this back and forth. You basically added, you basically outed Kanye for getting his peen sucked nine months ago when he's now a happily married man. Okay. You know, Wack is being very, very messy in this situation. And um, it's unfortunate, but this is what Clubhouse is. Like, when I think of Clubhouse, I think of nothing but drama and muck um, and low vibrational nonsense. So, again, I just think the back and forth. I mean, all these folks are grown, but, you know, the back and forth, the constant disrespect, it, it's starting to be a bit much. So I just wasn't feeling it. I think Amber Rose needs to, you know, maybe reevaluate. Maybe Clubhouse is not for her. But I just feel like that whole site is just so trash. It's like, it's just always drama. There's, like, I never see like good stories coming out of Clubhouse like that. It's either a bunch of scammers and fake ass entrepreneur CEOs teaching you, you know, how to get money and get into real estate and buy their courses, or it's a bunch of old gangbangers who just sit up and talk about gangbang shit and who's, a, and who's a snitch and, you know, all this drama. So, child, it is what it is, honey. So, let me know your thoughts on this whole entire drama concerning what. WAC 100 basically blasting Amber Rose, Kanye, A.E., and Wiz Khalifa. How do you guys feel about the back and forth? And how do you guys feel about, you know, these grown men constantly going back and forth with women and just like really dragging them online? Like it's starting to get kind of crazy. Um, so don't forget to like the video. Feel free to share the video. Most important, don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.